Hey, what's up everyone? In this video, we're going to go over how to use templates to centralize and simplify Azure DevOps pipelines. Let's get started. I'm going to start off by creating a new repo where I'm going to put my sample application. So you go to the repos blade and then click on this drop down menu, click new repository, type in the name of your application. I'm going to let it initialize with the readme. I'm going to clone this repo to my local. I'm going to cd into that directory and you'll see that readme file. Now I'm going to create a sample.NET application. So I'm going to type in .NET new web API dash O and I'm just going to I'll put it here. And now we're going to do a git add and git commit. And then we're going to push this. Okay, so now we have our sample application up in git. Refresh this page here. We have our sample application now. This is the one we're going to be using for this uh, working session. Okay, next we're also going to have to create a repo for our templates. Let's click on the drop down menu, click new repo. We're going to call this templates. We'll let it initialize with a readme file, which is fine. In here, we're going to go ahead and create our first uh, template. So let's click on new and then file. We're going to call this .NET build. YAML. All right, so let's go ahead and get started with our template here. The first thing we need to do is declare our parameter section. And we're going to be adding a release. So this is where we can specify whether it's debug or release or whatever. And we're going to leave this empty. Okay, we need to add our pools and declare it. We declare this using this open and close uh, squiggly brackets. Next, we're going to specify the projects and this is the CS proj file. So we're going to leave this empty. Next is the target path. And then the artifact name. All right, now that we have our parameters, we need our job section. And then our, our build job. And we're going to call this build. For pool, oops. Yeah, well, you have to be careful about spacing. So pool, we now start using the parameters that are above. So this will reference uh, the pool. Okay. Um, now we need to add the steps. And the, ta and the first task, which is the .NET Core uh, CLI. And then now we have to specify the inputs. For example, like the command, which is publish. Oops. And then the projects, which is going to use the parameter. And then the arguments. We're using double quote because we don't want it to uh, not be able to use the parameters. 
view single quotes and won't interpret the parameter. So we're going to type in uh, parameters dot release, which is referencing this. And I'm going to add another task. I want to publish the built artifact to the pipeline itself. And you have to declare it with a specific name. Oops, I misspelled it here. Publish pipeline artifact one. And this also takes inputs like the target path. And the artifact name. check here so if I go to pool where's it's being used there projects being used here release uh, target path is incorrect here it should be target path and then artifact name and I think we're good so let's click on commit I'll leave the default comment and I'm okay with just merging into master branch. This is going to be a simple example just to help you guys get started with this. Okay, so now we have a template. Now we have to go back to our project where we have our sample code and we need to set up a pipeline here. So we do that by clicking set up build and we're going to Select starter pipeline. I'm going to get rid of all this sample code. Okay, so the first, so the first thing that I'm going to do here in the in this pipeline is I'm going to specify the trigger. And for now, I really don't want it to trigger automatically. Uh, I want to be able to do this manually, so I'm going to set trigger to none. And now I'm going to start off a resources section here. And I want repositories section, repository, and the name is going to be templates. This is a label that's going to be used in a subsequent step. And in here, we're going to give, we're going to give it the name of the repo, which is uh, test one, and templates. And the type, which is git, okay, that's for resources. All right, so the next thing that we need to declare here is the jobs, right? And we need to tell it that this is coming from a template. And we need to give it the name of the YAML file, which is the template YAML file, which is .NET build.yaml, which you can see over here, and tell it that this is from templates. So this is the reference back to um, this repository templates and then we're gonna now give it the parameters so for this template and one easy way to do this is just go back to your template Co copy all these guys here sure you have the proper spacing here and then from the top of my head I know release we'll use release for now and for pool I want to use VM image and we're gonna use a Linux machine so we're gonna use Ubuntu latest this should instantiate a 
an Ubuntu 18.04 LL LTS for projects. It's the web a web dash API dot CS proj file. Okay, and for the target path, I believe it's gonna be bin forward slash release net core app 3.1 publish dot zip and then the artifact name we'll just call it publish now let's try it out hit save and run i don't mind that it's committing directly to master it is setting up the ci panel so i'll leave that comment alone commit message alone we're gonna save and run cross my fingers at least we didn't get a yaml error it's doing something all right it built fine now it's going to publish the artifact and it looks like it's done all right so let's go back to weather api over here and we see we have a successful build so let's go ahead and open it up um, we can see that it published the built artifact to the pipeline under the name publish in a directory called publish and here's the built artifact okay so again one of the main benefits of, of using something like this is that Azure Pipeline's YAML file that's included with your source code much easier to read it extracts the logic of how to do the build away from this and all you're really doing is specifying the parameters and then whoever else so you as a developer don't you know you're not as concerned as, as to how it's built somebody else in your team that's more in charge of managing the build process or your pipeline can focus on that so if there's a mistake they can go back to the template and make changes here the other benefit again is that you can centralize all your templates so right now I'm just of course creating a sample build um, pipeline but in the future you could have you know templates for all kinds of builds but for now I wanted to keep this short I hope you guys learned something from this thank you for joining please make sure to like and subscribe of course Thanks.